Hello everyone and welcome back to Stoneblock. I made an interesting discovery. I think I might be able to fly. For real, in this episode, I might be able to make an angel ring. There is a few things that might be hard to get, but now that I look at it, there is really nothing that is completely out of my reach. So I already made a chicken ring, which is completely useless by itself, but it is a part of a bigger recipe. So the next thing I need to make is a ring of flying squid. And for that I really need to get some squids. Because really I have everything in here, except I need a golden lasso with a squid. But also I need some black dye. And I looked everywhere and I really couldn't find any sort of easy source of black dye other than killing squids. So I need some squids for a lasso, I need some squids just in general, and I'm gonna try to get some squids right now. But first, I'm still struggling with energy, so let's see. I got a bunch more loot bags in here, and I took a look at, at chances of getting that thing I was talking about in the previous episode. Well, I actually don't see the chances of getting it, but that thing is a specter coil, and you can only get it from an epic loot bag. So that's what I'm gonna open right now. I've got two epic loot bags and uh, one legendary one. I think everything else is kind of worthless anyway, so let's go. An epic... Yes, thank you. Notch, Notch, thank you very much. He heard me. The guy heard me and he was like, yo, you wanna give this guy a specter coil? He has been talking about it for two episodes now. He deserves one. Ah, I was hoping maybe... <laughs> Maybe I deserve a second one as well. Okay, and legendary one gives me some pants. Some fancy pants and a god apple. This is a notch apple. So, Notch blessed me with two amazing things today. And I am very grateful for that. So let's install this specter coil. It's actually amazing. I moved one of my generators over here because I have a little bit of an automatic farm right now except it doesn't have any energy <laughs> maybe I should place this coil in here I mean let's test it so I had my generator installed in here and um, it actually wasn't providing enough energy this harvester from cyclic was losing more energy than this generator was producing now I've got one specter coil in here which I just got it doesn't require any maintenance you just place it and it generates energy. And look at this. It actually generates enough so that it's overflowing. I think it's a bit of a waste placing it in here because there is no capacitors and a lot of energy will kind of be wasted. But for now that will do it. There is really not that many blocks that need energy in here. Harvester isn't working. I installed a simple alloy smelter. I actually don't remember what I needed it for. Oh yes, for automatic obsidian, which I've got over here. So that's a very basic setup. I just needed some liquid or fluid conduits. So this thing takes cobblestone from here, puts it into those crucibles. They fill in with lava and then this lava is going in here. However, it should also go in here as a backup. But for some reason it doesn't do that. Yeah, it needs to be a kind of inserting lava and also extracting it at the same time. And I guess, well, I don't know, maybe I should do it from different sides with different conduits. But in any case, now instead of placing lava and getting obsidian one block at a time, I can just do... Do... Okay, well, this setup... It's completely broken, apparently. What the heck? Now, you extract. Okay, just extract. Thank you. Okay, and now I can just do this. And the reason I was doing it is because I realized that I built this obsidian, or this uh, nether portal out of obsidian so fast that I never even got this achievement. So now I have it, and uh, I also have a bunch of other loot chests over here. So I think I'm gonna open them as well 
and see if they can give me something that will help me on my journey of getting angel ring and maybe just with some other things like some energy will be nice some more of these coils so let's go resonant upgrade sure that's good red ribbon engineers goggles and black bow tie that's i think most of these are just cosmetic items maybe goggles do some no not even goggles okay let's see oh yes looking looking good can i wear a bow tie there we go it can't really see it with my armor well yeah it's kind of pointless if i can't see it but i guess it might as well be there whatever and red ribbon oh look at that okay sure sure let's wear it and some more viaducts that's actually pretty cool because i was looking into them earlier and they are really good unfortunately i don't have enough right now to really use them at all and i don't really have a reason my base is quite small now uh, but maybe later when i have different levels <laughs> eight blocks of wood and 16 stone okay but all in all pretty good items i'm really glad i got this coil though from loot bags that is the biggest win and hopefully i'm gonna get some more once i get some redstone chickens i will be able to make more fans for my mob farm and um and then I think my mob farm is going to be a lot more efficient. But speaking of chickens, unfortunately no new chickens have spawned. I tried and as you saw there is now a grass room on the other side of the base. And I also tried to spend a little bit more time on that side near the mob farm. So, you know, some chickens spawned in here before. So I was hoping maybe they're going to spawn at least here. But no, absolutely nothing. That being said... Those chickens that I have produce so, so much stuff. It's amazing. As you can see, this collector is not efficient. Not at all, really. It doesn't get those materials fast enough. But I don't even... I don't even care! Okay, I don't care, because... It produces so much stuff. Look at that. 800 blocks of quartz. I've got 800 blocks of quartz. Two episodes ago. I had to go to the nether and spend like five minutes getting less than a stack of quartz. And now I, I automatically made 800. And as a matter of fact, it produces them so fast, uh, those blocks of quartz, that I had to make another drawer below and send some of it there. And it's already full. 2,000 blocks. That's right. A crap ton of sand. So I'm good on these resources. Now I really need more chickens. And, yeah, I wait for more chickens to spawn. I guess there's not much I can do. I got some chicken manure in here, by the way, for farmland, for fertilized farmland. But, yeah, right now the only thing I can do for chickens is, I guess, build more grass rooms. And I made some really small changes to the base, just trying to make it look prettier. But, really, I want to be able to fly. That will make things so much more convenient. And uh, it will be just a lot easier to clear up the base, to make big rooms, and also to just make improvements. Let's get to it. Let's get flying. So, chicken wing, done. Uh, right now I need some squids. So, for that, I need some squid bait. I don't really need it, but I think it's one of the best ways. And this is something you can craft out of any two fishes. Okay, I hope I have some more. No. No, that's unfortunate. Because I need quite a lot of them. I might still have some fish at my mob farm. Somehow dropping from mobs. Or at least part of loot bags. Uh, so I'm gonna take a look at that in a second. But I also need a pretty big pool of water. I think it can be a uh, five by five so sort of like this one two three four five let's check fish in here okay two puffer fish and i guess i might be able to get some from these loot bags i think i'm actually gonna try to automate it a little bit i'm gonna try to use these loot bag openers i've got to open them and yes in the previous episode there was only one of them right that's actually a, such a great story so i was 
I was just minding my own business, just playing the game, and uh, I think I was just crafting stuff in here. Some zombie pigman comes through the portal, goes all the way in here, steps in here, jumps. Well, you, you can see this footage right now from uh, a, a little bit of a replay. <laughs> he jumps into smeltery, and I just look at it like, dude, what are you, what are you doing? And then he dies, and I see patient back. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a patient back. That's another star, potentially. And I just valiantly jump in, and my, my feet are melting in the smeltery, but still, I got the patient back. But that was just hilarious, how he just jumped in, and, and he actually produced a patient bag. I would imagine it's not, not the most common reward. And then the Enderman, one of the evolved Endermans, did the same, and didn't even teleport away. No, just gave me some free, some free pulsating iron. So that was pretty nice of him as well, and hilarious too. And then an innocent wolf <laughs> did the same thing. And that, that wasn't very hilarious. Yeah, I might, I might actually even move my smeltery once I am able to fly. Who knows? I promised it for, for three episodes now to move my smeltery away. Didn't do it yet. So what do we have in here? Tier 1 chance pendant? I think I'm not gonna do that. I actually tried to open some chance cubes in another world, in sort of my creative testing world. And there are so many things that go bad with them, and very few things that go right. So, yeah, probably not gonna risk it. So, another diamond wand, that's pretty good. Ender Orb of Translocator. Reusable Ender Portal that carries you. Oh, that sounds really good. Let's try it right now. Yes, I like that. It still does damage, like, like a normal one and does have some durability, but pretty cool, pretty cool, and uh, some other cool stuff, portable ender chest, hell yeah, nice, my inventory just got a little bit bigger, chance cube scanner, hmm, interesting, but all in all, yeah, nothing related to my current objective, let's see here, fire charm, fire protection while carrying, Pretty good, I'll take it. Some good stuff, some more ender lilies, which I might want to start planting. And some other goodies, but no fish. All right, I might have to do some fishing. Actually, I wonder if there's a better way. Like, yeah, maybe a fishing net. Place in the water and give it a fishing rod. Please don't be expensive. Okay, cobweb, how do you make cobweb? No, no, not that. Silk wisp. Oh no, that is quite complicated, unfortunately. Need some modded blocks or some botanium. Uh, mana pool is kind of simple to make, but also I just don't really want to get into botania. Maybe I already have it from somewhere else. No, no. Okay, man, no, I definitely need like the special stone. Ah, oh, living rock. Now, I already planted bait in here. Two baits. And there is nothing. No squids. I don't know why. They just disappeared. I guess they even maybe never appeared here in the first place. That is weird. That is weird. I only have one bait left. Uh, let's try it. It does say this bait will work in this environment. And I did move out of range. And there is no squids. This is the hole I made. Looking for the first squid when the first bait just disappeared. I don't know, surely that's how you're supposed to use it, right? Oh, oh, hello there, hello there. Okay, let's quickly catch it. I'm not sure what happened to all the other ones. Maybe they're supposed to spawn straight away and... Well, I did actually run away for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> Maybe they spawned and despawned at the same time. In any case, that's one squid. Now I just need to find a way to get, like, four black dye, or four ink sacks. And I have no idea how to do it. Eleven minutes later. So I've got two more squid baits, and if I'm lucky, that's gonna be enough. But I just made an interesting discovery. Turns out, 
There is bait for a lot of other mobs, including chickens. And it's so easy to craft as well, just two seeds, one next to another. So, wow, I might be able to get some of those modded chickens that I'm looking for with those baits. I don't know, but it's definitely worth a try. Sticks, nope. Okay, let's see, let's just craft a couple of them, maybe three. Place them all right over here. That's right. Those chickens. Oh, what? There is no water in this area. They are chickens. They don't. They don't care. Okay. How about this? Okay, that's good. Uh, where is the other bait? Where is the other? Okay, whatever. One bait for the sake of testing. How are squids doing? Two might be enough. Might not be enough. Uh, but they are not doing anything right now. Okay. Okay, so now we wait, huh? Now we're playing a waiting game. Squids. Chickens. Who's gonna spawn first? And am I even an optimal distance away from them for them to spawn? Oh, oh, chicken just appeared. But it looks like a normal, ordinary, boring chicken. That's a shame. That's a shame. But maybe there is a random chance. I think I'm gonna try to spawn some more like this in between episodes. Finally, the first squid. That took a while. Yeah, you better produce a lot of ink sack. Oh, just one piece. And I got it. Five ink sack. So that's the ring of flying squid. Hopefully, I can still get everything else. And I almost got it. Okay, so I've got the squid in the lasso. I'm not sure why it's not being placed there automatically. Alright, chicken ring is in there. Do I not have any diamonds? Gotta do some manual labor now. Okay, but that's one diamond. All I need is another one. And I'm good to go. And there we go. Wow, didn't take much time at all. So one, two, this goes in here and the final piece of the puzzle. There we go, ring of flying squid. Didn't even consume, no, no, I guess I just had more ender pearls than one. Now, the final step, the hardest step, I guess. Because I need a couple of lassos with some very specific things. A bat and a, a cursed lasso with a ghast. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to get this drop of evil. There is no other way to get it other than as a drop from a wither skeleton. So good luck to me. Thankfully, this sword kills nether skeletons or wither skeletons with Pretty much one hit. Alright, here we are. Nope. No Peruni. Blazer Rooney. That's actually not the only thing I need in here. Oh. Soul Sand Chicken. And I don't have a no, I do have a chicken catcher. Okay, well, consider yourselves caught. This is not something I wanted. Wow, their faces are ridiculous. But, yeah, I might as well take it. But what I do want to get here is some nether ward. As maybe a backup to flight. Because, as it turns out, this air charm I had, it's very easy to craft. As long as I can get some nether wards. I went here earlier, and it's surprisingly hard to find. Like, I expected to find some in here, just now. Because it's usually kind of in this area, down some stairs. Maybe it's gonna be down these stairs. But look at that, no, nothing. Inventory upgrade. Eat to upgrade your inventory, that is really good. Especially considering that I got ender sack before. But this thing literally increases my... This is essentially a backpack that is always on me. Oh, that is good. That is good. And the quest for an angel ring will continue in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for more, smash that like button, 
No, you you already left. So don't, don't. That will cancel it. Do not, do not smash the like button again. <laughs> but you might consider smashing the notifications bell. And I will see you in the next video.